Oh, hello. I had the pleasure of going to the Uffizi Gallery in Florence, Italy this summer. It is one of the world's oldest and also most visited museums and is currently closed owing to the coronavirus. I thought in light of that news, it might be sort of fun to take you all on a little like conceptual virtual reality tour of the museum space. Now, before I went there, I tried to find a sort of like faggot's guide to it, but none of them existed. So I decided to make my own. So this won't be your sort of average tour. It'll be a tour with my spin on it. Let's take a look, shall we? Mm, if you're wondering where Carmen San Diego is, I've found her. Ugh, I just love this peekaboo sexy side leg moment, especially because he's working in an unconventional material. Like, is that human hair? Is that animal hair? I just don't know. Also, I found it reminiscent of what Elizabeth Hurley was wearing to the Oscars in 1994. Fashion icon. Ooh, this one, you're sort of like casual nip slip, like, oh, I just didn't know it was peeking out there. Classic. Hmm. When I walked up to this one in the gallery, I thought, oh, look, <laughs> there are gays here. And then I read the little description plaque and it said heathens hanging out behind the Christ child. And I was like, I will be at that party. Or perhaps more accurately, I already go to that party. It was just nice to see myself realized in a painting. And then as I looked closer at what they were wearing, I was just like, ugh, these outfits are to die for. I love this sort of simple red chiffon and the simple yellow one that he's wearing and also wondering if this is potentially where the hanky code comes from. Mm-hmm. I think that's a strong yes. Oh, early concept art for The Wizard of Oz. Love it. Love the story. Love the journey. Let's take a closer look. Yes, sensible shoes. And there is Toto. And this is Spring by Botticelli. And when I saw it in the gallery, I absolutely stopped in my tracks. It is so unnervingly beautiful and also large. Like, how did anyone ever make paintings this size? I just couldn't do anything else except stop and stare at it for so long. And though I really enjoyed drinking this whole painting in, I was mostly there for the sassy 16th century homosexual in the corner, giving no fucks about all of the women next to him in beautiful diaphanous gowns. In fact, the fabric in this painting is probably one of my favorite parts, but also this specific dress truly blew me away. There are more than 183 different flowers in this painting, and most of them are inside this work. Truly sensational. And we all know this painting, especially if we had like a mouse pad or a mug at some point in the 90s, but what, what is happening here? Ooh, this one I find incredibly sexy because I don't think I have ever seen a statue before with back hair. And as someone with a lot of back hair, let me tell you, representation matters. Thank you. Um, I just, I have literally no idea what's going on. Like at all. But if I was to hazard a guess, I would say that it's... Acid. Yes, that's right. Eat your heart out, Timothy Leary. And this one is the statue of Hermaphroditus by Bernini. That is kept by itself alone in the dark in a room that you can't enter. Now the statue is female up top and male down below. And part of me wonders, did they keep it by itself? Because they were afraid that if we were to get too close to it, that we would see in its gorgeous marble form that it reflects back our own experience of reality to all of us. That all of us carry the masculine and the feminine energy within ourselves. That we are all supple and graceful and strong as stone. Anyway, thank you! This has been my faggot tour of the Uffizi Gallery. Uh, stick around, share a comment, tell me what to do next time. Uh, I'm gonna keep making these because uh, I don't know about you, but I have literally nothing to do. Like at all. Anyway.